Okay, so here's the next video. Um, is that normal? I guess that's normal. But anyway, I'm going to be showing the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and DS games. I feel like that's good enough. Okay, to start off with the Game Boy games, um, I'm not really the biggest fan of Game Boy games, but it does have its share of good games. They actually made a lot of Game Boy games, little did I know. It's actually a really old cop cartridge that I have. Funny thing is that this game, for a good chunk of its lifespan, was actually under the... What is it called? Basically... I don't know. Um, Pokemon Blue. This is actually not even mine. Technically, I'm borrowing it, but that was several years ago. Kirby's Dream Land. Mario Land 2, which I actually played this, I think, a year ago. It's actually really decent, but it gets kind of boring after a while. Uh, Wario Land 3, which is very a very weird copy. To my knowledge, it is authentic, but it's kind of strange. Super Mario Land, and Super Mario Land 2. Alright, um, those are the Game Boy games. Nothing really obscure to talk about. They're pretty much all, most of the actual good games. However, this is worth noting, um... Pokemon Pinball, you can actually put a battery in it to have a rumble feature. I put a lot of hours into this game. This was definitely a game where if I had to go somewhere for like a couple hours, this would save me an hour of patience. And here are the Game Boy Colors. Funny story about this game, I actually got this for free by my cousin. The reason why the top looks like that was I was an idiot as a child because when I was eight, I basically dipped it when I was taking a bath. I just dipped it. I'm an idiot. Oracle of Ages, which looks way but way 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 better. Dragon Ball Z. What does that say? Like a legendary Super Warriors. Technically, I could. Oops, mess that up. Technically, I could just do this, and then it won't be out of focus anymore. So I guess I'll just do that. There's um, Warrior Land 3, which I haven't played yet. Link's Awakening. Yeah, see, the problem is now it's the brightness is. Maybe this should help. Uh, not really. And Pokemon Silver, I've had for a very, very long time. I got this at the same store that I got some of the other games I mentioned. However,. This is the only game, to my knowledge, in which the battery is actually dead. I actually did conquer this game a while back, but I had to digitally get it on the eShop because the battery was not usable anymore, which is a shame. Okay, so now I'm going to the DS games, which it's going to be out of order in terms of good and not so good games, but there's not really a lot of games I wouldn't care much for. This is one of them. It was just extremely cheap. Never opened it. Um, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. I've played all three games. This game is not appreciated that much, but I think it's really good. Not as good as the first two, but still good. Sonic Rush Adventure. This was actually one of my favorite DS games at the time. Um, Kirby Superstar Ultra. I think this is actually the first Kirby game I physically owned. It wasn't until I was like 11. Um, Spirit Tracks. Hmm. Whoa! I didn't realize until I went up. I just realized, wait, the camera's coming with me. Where's that light coming from? Um, Bowser and Silver. This is actually the first... 
actually the first DS game I ever owned. I got it the same day I got my DS. Um, there's Pokemon White. Um, there is Pokemon Black 2. This is arguably my favorite Pokemon game. Basically fixes everything I had a problem with the Pokemon White. Pokemon Heart Gold. I actually had the box and everything, but I guess I was thrown away a long time ago. What a shame. The Megman Zero Collection, which this is how I was able to play Megman Zero 1, 3, and 4 for the longest time, because at the time I only owned two. It's a great collection. Uh, Radiant Historia. This was a game I was going to work on a couple of years ago, but it's been pushed back so long and I really want to play it. This is also one of the first DS games I got this the same day I got my DSi. Phantom Hourglass. In my opinion, the worst Zelda game, but I still think, think it's a decent game. And that's saying a lot. That the worst game in the series is decent. We got Dawn of Sorrow. Probably my favorite Castlevania game of this type of style. Also, this is another... The, this is the th one of the three DS games I got for my DSi when I got it. This was actually a bonus. I remember my mom, after I thought I already got everything, she showed me it. She showed it to me as a bonus, and I was happy. I didn't care about Bakugan, but it was just really cool to see and have another game. Legend of Starfy. This game has a little bit of sad memories because I think at the time when I bought this, my mom was not really in a good place. She's alive, of course, now, right now, but uh, let's just say a lot of stuff was going on. I think I got that game when I was like 17, I think. Um, Plants vs. Zombies. I actually conquered this a couple of times. Not a good port. Okay, what what's next? Um, we got Sonic Colors for the DS. This is the one that I remember me and my friends talked about Sonic Colors all the time. And um, they had the DS version. I was the only one that had the Wii version. Uh, Sonic Color, uh, Sonic Colors, Sonic Classic Collection. I don't recommend this. Uh, these games are not good ports of the games. Sonic Rush. Super Mario 64 DS. I actually played this years before I ever played the original. And honestly, I kind of prefer the original. I just don't like the slow pace that the DS version has. New Super Mario Brothers. Mario Kart DS. Yoshi's Island DS. Ugh, uh, Metro Prime Hunters. Definitely my least favorite Metroid game. I conquered it. I got all the items. I will never beat that game again. Uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. I actually conquered this game again this year. It's probably one of my least favorite Kirby games. I really liked it when I first played it because I never played it before, but playing it again, it's kind of boring. Next up is Kirby's Mass Attack. This game is actually one of the more creative Kirby games. It's a little annoying to play, but I really enjoyed playing it. It was came out at the time when I was getting into the Kirby series. Uh, Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. A really good Castlevania game I played last year. And this actually, now that I think about it, this next game I'm going to show is actually my second favorite DS game, which is weird to say because I actually beat this game early last year. Uh, Devil Survivor. It's uh, one of the Shin Megami Tensei spinoffs, and if I was talking about the main series and the spinoffs, this is probably my second favorite of the whole series. It's really, really, really good. I'm not a big fan of games with multiple endings because it just stresses me out and gives me anxiety, but this is one of the only games that I actually like it. Next up is Magman ZX. I didn't even know about this game until 2015. I just saw it in one of my old Nintendo powers and I was like, wait, they actually made a Magman ZX? 
Um, Pokemon Platinum. I actually conquered this game again this year, and I was playing it around the time when a lot of dark stuff was happening this year, but things have gotten better slash worse, but it's fine. Contra 4, extremely hard. Extremely hard game. And that's saying a lot, because I've beaten Contra 3, which I have footage of me. Uh, a few months ago, I played Contra 3 on hard mode again. And I made it a goal to beat a hard mode without losing a single continue. I did. I have the footage. I just haven't uploaded it yet. So expect that maybe in January. Because all the videos you're seeing with me showing the games, this will all be uploaded in January as well as some other playthroughs, full playthroughs of other games that you'll see in the future. I'm still trying to experiment with... Well, I don't have a capture card, but I will get one soon and still trying to, like, do my research. Oh, I forgot this one. This is actually the most expensive. I actually got this recently. Ignore the sticker on it. I just swapped the games, but I also have Megman ZX Advent, which is the second ZX game. But I actually got Order of Ecclesia. I could only get the cartridge only because, oh my gosh, this already cost me, like, 60 bucks alone. So, I saved, like, a lot of money just doing that. I just really wanted to own it. Okay, so that is the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and DS. Um, I guess that'll be it for this video. Sorry if some videos are longer or shorter. It's just kind of annoying because somehow these videos are taking up a lot of memory for some reason. But I guess for the next video I will go through, I might as well, I might as well just go through all of the NES games. Get ready for that.